Welcome back to Huddle Up. The Super Bowl has passed us. We've got a lot of great NFL stuff to talk about, though, throughout the offseason, free agency, the draft coming up. But speaking of free agency, CFL free agency officially opened up. There are a ton of signings still to happen and a ton of big names that are already off the board. Here's how we want to do this to cover the beginning of CFL free agency. We have three categories. We're going to name a player or team that comes to mind that best fits that category. And the first one I'm going to throw to you. Favorite signing so far that we've seen? First of all, it's been a great start to the window with a ton of star players switching teams, moving across the country to different provinces. But I want to go all the way to the West Coast and talk about the BC Lions because I've been banging the drum for this for some time. Last year, they had a great season. Their offense was electric. They ranked number one in the CFL when it comes to pass yards per game. They also ranked dead last in the CFL when it comes to rush yards per game. And Vernon Adams is amazing, and they had a great trio of wide receivers that made a ton of big plays. But I kind of felt like when the going got tough, especially in the playoffs when they had to go through you know, the best team in the West, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, they felt a little bit one-dimensional. And that Bombers defense just keyed in on one guy and they were easy to stop because of it. You go out and you sign William Standback from the Montreal Alouettes. Just an absolute bruiser of a runner. A great guy that can change the tempo of a game and can just move the chains. And that is exactly, exactly what this team needed. And BC is one of those teams where I don't think they need to make a flurry of moves. But a couple individuals here and there to strengthen key areas of need. And you're looking at like a real great cup roster. They're hosting the game this year. And I just think this is the type of move that can put this team over the edge, especially when you get a guy that's got three years of his career that he's had over a thousand total yards. So I'm super, super excited to see William stand back in this BC Lions offense. He's played with Vernon Adams too before in Montreal. And I think the one hole now that BC has is with Matthew Betts going to the NFL signing with another Lion, the Detroit Lions. For my favorite signing, I'm going to go with a trade more so than a, a signing. And it's Ottawa bringing in Drew Brown. They've had 10 quarterbacks start since the year 2018 when Trevor Harris started 17 games for them. So that, that number is insane. Like four seasons, 10 quarterbacks to start a game for your franchise. Obviously, Jeremiah Mazzoli was brought in to be the answer. It's a little risky for sure. I, I like the swing though in Drew Brown who kind of started sparingly with Winnipeg but almost had more touchdown passes than the Red Blacks had all of last season in those limited starts. So uh, I like the swing here. We're going to see if it works out or if Dustin Crum can kind of take the next step forward. He was kind of the guy most of the year for this team. You can never have too many quarterbacks in your room if you're a team like Ottawa in flux right now. So that's a name to watch out for as the offseason continues and we go into the regular season. How about favorite team as far as most improved goes through this early window of free agency? I'm glad you brought up Drew Brown because I'm going to talk about the Ottawa Red Blacks. You make maybe the biggest signing of the window on the defense side of the ball, bringing in a Darius Pickett, and then you go out and you address the most important position in the league, Drew Brown. Like you said, the numbers, they speak for themselves in a very, very small sample size in a good offense in Winnipeg, and I'm curious to see how he's going to go out and do over here with more opportunity. Flawless stats a season ago. You got nine passing touchdowns and 89 passing attempts. The pass rating's off the charts. The completion percentage is near 70%. What more can you ask for in a quarterback from those numbers? If he is the guy there, I'm very excited to see what the Ottawa Red Blacks can cook up in a pretty wide open conference there aren't a lot of avenues to get a quarterback in the cfl when you have one you likely hold on to them so it's a great piece of business from the ottawa red blacks i'm gonna go to the west and i'm gonna go saskatchewan they have a new head coach but i love the moves offensively bringing in jamarcus hardrick from the winnipeg blue bombers a steady force on the offensive line and then the big one aj Ouellette who was Argo's leading rusher. He had a phenomenal season, a great one-two punch with Andrew Harris, but the Riders were near the bottom of the league in a lot of rushing categories. Second last in total yards, and they had the fewest rush yards per attempt. So that number would probably rise next year with a new identity on offense, and that starts with obviously getting Trevor Harris back will help, but let as a runner and Hardrick leading the way on the offensive line, I think this team is due for a bit of a different look on offense, which will only help them. Now let's talk about a team that Ouellette is coming from, the Toronto Argonauts, because our last category or question here we want to answer is, are we concerned with this team? The last time we saw them, they suffered a heartbreaking end to their season. Chad Kelly is still the quarterback, but they have undergone some incredible changes here 
as far as all of the pieces they've lost. Are you concerned with this team? Yeah, we talked about a Darius Pickett, who they did lose, and of course, A.J. Ouellette, two star players. But you also go and you lose Jamal Peters, Boris Beatty, you lose Bladick, Javon Leak, and potentially Quantes Stiggers, who it sounds like he's going to enter the NFL draft. That is a ton, a ton of talent. I'll also say this in the same breath. I believe that the Toronto Argonauts were far and away the most talented team on paper a season ago, and that obviously translated to the historic season. And I think part of the reason why they were so good was an unprecedented level of depth. So am I concerned? Maybe I think it'll be a little bit more competitive, but the two biggest areas why I'm still confident that they'll be one of the best teams, if not the best, is one, you got Chad Kelly. Talked about the importance of quarterback. Stability at that position going into his second year in the same system is going to help a lot, and I do think he's going to take an even bigger leap also, the offensive line just dominated last season. Mm-hmm. It's the closest thing to an NFL offensive line that exists. The fact that that remained intact, yeah, they got a little worse. And I think they are going to need some guys who maybe didn't play a big role a year ago to really step up this year. I'm not worried, though. I do kind of tend to agree in a weird way like I I think that this Argos team especially on offense if that's your kind of driving force which it was last year they were so good you've got the offensive line intact like you said kind of plug and play at running back if you've got the lanes opened up up front then you can make some damage happen and then your receiver room is relatively the same like I know you lose Curly Giddens Jr. but he kind of fell out of favor in Toronto it seemed like and didn't have that same season that he did on their Grey Cup run so I think that maybe the defensive side of things it'll take some time for them to work some chemistry things out because there are so many new faces but you still have some key contributors and Royce Mechie back there. You still got Winton McManus at the second level in the linebacker spot. And you've got our boy Flo up front on the pass rushing side of things. You still have impact players on all three levels of your defense that will help stabilize it and make that transition to a new defensive coordinator and some new pieces, maybe a little easier. So let's not overblow it yet because they also can still sign some impact guys here too and make some moves. Can't wait to see it play out. Can't wait to see the rest of free agency play out. And speaking of the CFL, the NFL, we've got a guy that has dabbled in both. Canadian quarterback Nathan Rourke joins you for an amazing sit down. Can't wait to see it.